Hey guys, Billy F. R. here. Hey, thanks for tuning into the vlog. And if you uh, like it uh, and appreciate what we're saying, we appreciate you hitting like or share out there um, in the social media universe. Uh, we appreciate you helping us. Uh, today we have several vlog questions. And the first one is, how do you achieve a balanced discussion on problem diagnosis within your team? And this is from Dennis. Uh, who commented on one of our vlogs. And I think one of the questions and are, are one of the values that you need to create within your team is the value of honesty. And one of the things I preach to my team here all the time is, is honesty. We have to be honest with one another. Now that doesn't mean that every time we have a critical thought that comes in our mind towards someone that we should say it, but anytime that there's behavior or actions that are not in accordance with the values of the team, the team members need to hold one another accountable and they need to be honest about that particular accountability. Now, one of the words that we use here besides honesty is, is a term I like to use called safe harbor. And what that means is, is that in our team, we want to create a safe harbor. Nobody, it, people can share their feelings and their thoughts uh, without thinking they're going to be fired or they're going to be let go or, or, or that someone else is going to wrongly abuse them. I like to call it a safe harbor. So we want people to, you want to create an atmosphere of honesty and an atmosphere of a safe harbor. Now, if you take the time to do some bu team building exercises, getting to a point of honesty and getting to a point of safe harbor sometimes is, is difficult, uh, if, especially if you have a bunch of new people. It's also difficult if you have a bunch of old people, people that have been there for a while, and there's a certain culture that's already been established. So you may have to do some team exercises. Number one, you may have to do some teaching. Number two, some team exercises to help build that uh, culture of honesty and then, and then the culture of, uh, of safe harbor. Then, when you're actually bringing a problem, in fact, I've written a new book, it's called Organizational Mastery, and in there I talk about how to have a problem-solving conference. And one of the things that I address in there is that you have to, number one, clearly identify the problem. And you may be surprised how hard it is sometimes to actually do that, to get all team members to agree that, hey, this really is the problem. So you, so you lead them through a process of, of, of identifying the problem. Everybody agrees that it's a problem. We're honest about the problem. And then, then you can move forward and make decisions. So if you have honesty and you've created a safe harbor, then you can actually go through what I call the problem solving conference. And we can give you more information on that if you'd like it, but it's in our book on organizational mastery and basically just listing out the issues that are there that we all agree on. Identifying the problem is number one. And then number two is what are we gonna do about it? And so if, you, if you've gotten to the point, honestly, in your, in your discussion where you can identify the problem, then you're going, you're going to be effective typically in, in identifying the steps you need to do to address the problem or to alleviate the problem. Uh, so how do you achieve a balanced discussion on the problem diagnosis within your team? Number one is make sure you create a culture of honesty uh, within your team. And number two, make sure you create a safe harbor where people can say what they feel and, pe and uh, people can be uh, honest and open about where they are. So this is Billy Epperhart uh, saying thank you for taking the time to watch the vlog and we'll see you right here on another vlog. Bye-bye. Hey, Billy Epperhart here. Hey, I'm so excited about Wealth Builders 2018. It's gonna be February the 23rd through the 25th and it's gonna, we've got it packed wall to wall with guest speakers and workshops and all kinds of exciting things. And if you go right now, you can actually buy one ticket and get one ticket free while we're doing this special promotion. And in Wealth Builders this year, of course, I'll be there, yours truly, and my wife, Becky. And then we also have on Friday night starting, we have uh, 
uh, Terry Savelle Foy will be with us. We're excited about having her. And then some of the uh, of our other speakers are Paul Milligan. He's a great personal friend of mine, CEO of Andrew Walmack Ministries. We also have Lance Walnow that'll be there. We have Karen Conrad, Dan Dyer, and a whole list of people that are going to be joining us. So we're excited uh, and want to make sure you are a part of Wealth Builders 2018. You know, Wealth Builders is one of those things that it's kind of it's kind of taking a life out of its own and it's growing. And so I just want to encourage you to be a part of the Wealth Builder community. And the best way to do that is to come uh, to our Wealth Builders 2018. So we look forward to seeing you there. Bye-bye.